what the hell is up with these dudes? So, right off the bat, you notice something. Men are the problem. It's amazing, ain't it? It never ceases to amaze me that males are always a problem with these modern westernized women that have reached a certain age and are have a, a single, you know, that have uh, that are single moms. You know, it, it's it's almost as if men are always the ones that needs to be coached in order to deal with women. Why is it not the other way around? Sometimes I thought it was 50-50. but maybe I'm crazy. Okay, maybe I'm crazy. Let's continue. Are there any good guys left? Translation, if a woman says, if there are any good guys, it's typical of guys she thinks that will come in and be her, you know, savor like a white knight. I know, cook her dinner, stuff like that, and all that. All right? <laughs> but I doubt this chick wants a good guy. She typically wants that bad dude, all right? The bad dude with the hyper masculinity, the tattoos, you know, rides a Harley, fixes his car, he's roughneck, a bit rough on the corners. That's what she wants. But she wants to tame him and say, hey, you come and become my good guy that can come around and, you know, help wash the dish, cook and do and all that stuff. Nah, not with all that tattoo. Nah, let's be honest. Tattoos are all personal preference here, but I don't buy it. It's not for me. I mean, typically when you see people overall with a lot of tattoos, and especially women, it screams a lot of attention. Yes, you're fearless. You're open-minded. But, and you're probably freaky between the sheets. But typically, women would have a lot of visible, a lot of visible heavy tattoos like her are pretty hard to deal with. That's a lot of hyper masculinity right there, all right? I don't know if you realize it, guys, but women should be in the feminine form pretty much most of the times all right i don't care how much fit you are that's great there are a lot of fit women walking around that have don't have a lot of tattoos but if i have to you know deal with not only your emotional part of it then you're in your actual tattoos as walking around like what is this i don't want to be with you you know what i'm saying at least that's just me or you relates to the tattoo aspect but the good guy trust me good guys translation is nice guy and they always finish last all right you're the guys that buys chocolate you know they're the guys that would call and text her afterwards and women start to think well why are you texting so quickly so often don't you have a life and they shun you you know what i'm saying they, it's the bad guys you want so guys don't fall for that trick you know what i'm saying they don't looking for a woman, single mom, in her 30s. I have a job, military, I've got my shit together, um, I don't need no man to help me financially. Okay, so that's all good and dandy. You have a job, you have a place, which it should be expected. Although, for men, it really doesn't matter. At least the good guys that you're searching for, because a good guy, men, in case she doesn't realize this, you could work at McDonald's, but as long as, hey, you treat him well, they give him the bedroom action, you're cooperative, that's great. He'll take care of you. Doesn't matter. Okay? I don't know why mother women think that, yeah, you have a job and this and that, it's going to necessarily mean, it's, it, it, it's, yeah, some guys would shun you, but at the end of the day, it's neither here nor there. For the most part, men are like providers. It's a natural thing, but it's just taking on a different aspect. It's it's you know for the wrong reason for men in these modern times. On top of it, you're 30 years old. You're hitting the wall here. That wall where typically women should be attached, meaning in a long-term relationship, leading to marriage. If a woman isn't, it means that. Sometimes something is wrong with her and there's a scramble. But these women are scrambling for the top 10% of guys, alpha guys. This is why she hasn't settled. She could have grabbed a guy a long time ago. 
maybe she was a good girl and she she turned a rebel and her demeanor tattoos and all that but who knows but i'm telling you at that age it means that you're still looking for that alpha dude the hyper masculine that guy that you can you know can do it good and bad that's that's the real honest truth and eventually you can turn into a good guy a good guy gonna help you clean you know take the kids to get the groceries take the kids to school and all those stuff and then eventually you get bored of it you see that's what happens that's typical of what happens and women don't want that <laughs> surprisingly men may think that's the case but that's not the case women don't want that and then the third thing so far she mentioned here is that what i'm gonna talk about here is she's a single mother no that's a huge red flag okay that's a huge red flag for a guy and i tell you guys don't do it i have experiences number one in case no one realizes that's not your child you're investing your time resources in a child that's not yours and especially if the dad if the dad is still around because don't be surprised if the woman is still hit get you know getting smashed by the boyfriend on the side okay it, it, it does happen number two that child may not um may not come to like you because in case people don't understand this i'm a stepchild i love my my stepdad and everything but at the same time i still pine for my original biological dad to find out who he is you get what i'm saying and the child will not necessarily respect you because they will know you can discipline me and that's a problem that's why i don't enter into single mother relationship, relationship with single mothers because you're going to want to discipline the child and you can't not the way you want to because the mother you know most women at least are going to be very you know very protective of the kid so it's a lot of drama comes with it and you know guys you take second fiddle <laughs> okay <laughs> whether you have a single mother <laughs> it's probably like the kids herself the cat or dog than you okay it's not worth it it's 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 just the juice ain't worth the squeeze for a single mother okay this girl may look you know pretty cool nice and everything but it's just not worth, worth the squeeze but let's i work like let's go send me your resume please so guys you realize something here for a minute she, she was going to flex her muscles like yeah i'm strong i feel like okay that's a warning sign of aggressiveness that's not just oh i work out that's that's nice but you're saying i will compete with you i'll, I'll compete against you you don't want that that's too much independence you get what i'm saying you don't you're not going to give the guy the space to lead so if you see a woman that act this way don't let that soft nature yes yeah, she works out fool you you fix at that you're saying look sure i'm willing to bend the, the 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 corner you know strike off you know i'm going to strike off this extra strict requirements just to get a good guy but at the end of the day you know i'm on par with you don't come in and fight with me and then she starts with and typical she ends with you know typical woman hey give me send in your resumes that's a soft touch because it was a bit you know a, a bit aggressive before then she comes with a soft thing here's the thing it's always interesting that in dating a woman it's always like a job application and women always have these lists as much as they would say oh i don't have you know um i don't have this list and these requirements there is a list but as you can see guys she's 30. so those strict requirements of six foot this six um six pack all that she's trying to start to strike them off like okay you know what i i i, I you know i bend on this i, I can i give and take on this they're lowering their standards women don't want to do that but unfortunately she's eating 30 so she has to do it and it's always with women like a constant job interview with them why is that the case <laughs> Why should I have to send my resume? Resume for what? You know, so that, you know, I was on an app called, I think, OKQ, but I have a question that says, hey, what are you most nervous about? 
uh, an interview or a, a first date and when you look at the results you it, it showed what men choose and women choose it's what do you think that a woman choose that's most nervous about an interview it's not a date so for women it's always you have to always impress them i've come to the point now i have the time for that if you see a lady that you want to date or you want to ask her out, just ask her for a drink and you, you kind of square her out and and you know you try to figure out who she is from there to see if there's a second date or if it's worth pursuing because women have this list and especially if even if you ask her for a drink and she goes you might be you know wasting your time because it's just to you know you know get free up a bit you know she, she's stuck she has no one to deal with at this present moment so guess what you're going to fill the gap to it's like an ego trick to validate me uh to a certain extent it, it's not worth it it's always this list that women have but their time is running out she get to cut that list she better like change it about because <laughs> i think this chick uh she may seem cool but i think she's a difficult one to deal with based on her personality her swag and everything she's a tough one but guys be critical be masculine here you don't need you need a feminine woman that's cooperative that that will always you know give you that bedroom action that makes you lead as a guy being that masculine nature most of the time but that's my my two cents until then peace